Hello guys, welcome back to the S3D Hobby Shop. I'm S3D and today I'm here on Pichin.com. Uh, some of you guys pronounce it Fison. I think the proper way to pronounce it is actually Pichin. So anyway, because uh, it's Cantonese, but whatever, it, it's spelled that way. So most people just pronounce it that way. Uh, this brand is also known as TB League. Um, I honestly think they should just change the website to TB League. Uh, you can read more about the reason why they changed the name for the brand. Uh, it's it's uh, on the About Us tab. I will give you guys a look at it briefly, but you guys can check it out. Uh, we're looking at this new release right here. This one is coming out in September 2020. Uh, basically, uh, this is like, you know, I think they, they have done the Spartan Army or Spartan Commander before. So they're releasing three versions of the Spartan Army Commander. Uh, this one is the Golden Commander 1-6 scale figure. Of course, uh, as you guys know, uh, all these figures sport the uh, uh, the S23B, uh, the you know the muscular, tall Amazonian woman body type, the Wonder Woman style body. Uh, no, not not like you know the Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, but you know like Amazons, like super tall, like seven feet tall woman <laughs> uh, <laughs> with a very muscular build. Completely unrealistic proportions, stuff like that. Um, I don't know. Some people like them. Uh, personally, um, you yeah, know, I don't, I don't dislike them as much anymore. But I'm still really not a fan of these body type. Um, yeah, it's it's a little too weird for me. But anyway. Um, Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. So this one is coming out September 2020. Uh, the retail price is 169 US dollars. I think uh, you no know, more, more and more retailers are carrying this brand. But uh, you know, I, I honestly think since like you know 90% of the TB League uh, Peach and line is female, you know, it's only going to cater to a specific type of audience. You know, unless they, they start doing more male figures, you know, it's, it's just, you know, <laughs> it is what it is, man. Like, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of uh, people that reveal, uh, review six-scale figures uh, don't like to talk about this brand and don't want to, uh, you know, uh, review stuff from this brand because of it. You know, everybody's, like, doing hot toys. You know, Hot Toys Marvel, Hot Toys Star Wars, or any of those properties, you know, like the popular property. This one actually has no uh, property attached to it. It's just a peach and a TB League product. You know, it's not like a collaboration with executive replicas or art or R A R H, whatever, the Aryan uh, comic property. I know they, they have, lately they have been doing a lot of uh, uh, also collaboration with Aryan comics uh, with a lot of their characters like the Valkyries and Pirates and stuff like that. But this one is an original creation. So anyway, we're going to take a look at that. I mean, we already, we already know about the body type, you know, the 23B. Pretty sure it's the 23B because it's going to be the uh, uh, tan skin color. So that's what it is. If it's going to be like the pale one, going to be the 22A, but either way, pretty sure it's 23B. So, uh, what do we have here? Let's go ahead and take a look at the picture, if I can uh, open new image and tap. So, okay, never mind. I guess I can't open it. Can I zoom in? Okay, I can zoom in. So, well, we have the base figure. Looks like the outfit is like, you know, skin tight. So basically, uh, they just heated up the uh, plasticized PVC and then uh, attach it to the body. So I guess if you, I mean, if you want to know how to remove the, uh, these, the, the parts from the body, uh, you just heat it up like with a hair dryer until it becomes really soft and then you slowly work, work it off. <laughs> It, it's very, very skin tight, though. Uh, some people just end up, like, cutting the armor off and then glue it back together. But that's not the way to do it. But anyway, uh looks like 
I mean, th this is what they do. Like they're they're doing it so people can remove the outfit because uh, it's getting kind of ridiculous <laughs> or something. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so with this figure, you get a spear. Uh, obviously, you get a belt, and you get a cloak. I think all three commanders come with a cloak. Uh, we got the Spartan uh, commander helmet. Uh, we have the shield. We got the basic armor parts. Uh, this one's got the uh, shoulder armor, shoulder pauldron, or whatever you want to call it. We got the wrist guards. We got the uh, uh, the leg armor, and we also got the uh, what, what's that brown thing? I think those are the part that cover the leg. Uh, yeah, the lower leg, and then the armor goes on there. We have hand options. And this one also have a little dagger with like, you know, blood splatter on it. Yeah. And uh, let's take a look at the head scope. Head scope looks pretty good. Uh, you know, I used to think that they recycled their head scopes from other figures. But, uh, you know, after closely examining a couple of TB League figures, I can tell you, like, the face are not all the same. Like, this company actually put some effort into the head scope. To make sure that they're not exactly the same head scope. So I, I give them credit for that because a lot of uh, non hot toy brands, they tend to recycle the faces. You know, you see a face here, and then next time you see another face that looks exactly like it, even though it's not supposed to be the same character. So yeah, that, that gets kind of annoying. But yeah, I, I have to give TV League uh, Peach and credit for stuff like this. So. Yeah, this one actually looks pretty cool. Um, and uh, there's uh, three more commander. There's like the silver commander, and then there is the uh, the black commander. So there we go. Um, you know, we we really need some Spartan guys. Yes, we do. We need some Spartan men. <laughs> we need like Leonidas or something. And uh, yeah, I mean, if they're gonna do the Greek. Uh, Pantheon. I mean, I think they they, all, they did the Greek Pantheon. Uh, I had the Athena figure, which is pretty cool. But I was like, okay, where's Ares? Where is like you know Zeus and Hades and all the other guys, right? I mean, if you're not gonna do a male version, do a female version, whatever, right? <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, that that is pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about this figure. I mean, they all have the same body, so it's like you know that that part already is super lazy but uh <laughs> yeah it's the same body different armor different head scope with different accessories that's all essentially what these lines are but hey you know what they're gonna keep making them people keep buying them so all right so that's pretty much it for this video i'll put the link in the video description where you guys can uh, go pre-order you can buy directly from the website and it will be shipped to you directly from Hong Kong, I believe. And, yeah. All right, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.